Retired police officer Arthur Lascañas' publicized, uh, publicized confession on February 20 was among the pivotal events that might have influenced the recent shakeup in the Senate. Liberal Party senators insisted on following the self-proclaimed member of the Davao Death Squad to testify in the Senate once more, but they found themselves booted out uh, to the minority bloc and stripped of their committee chairmanships a week later. LP representatives at the lower house were then forced to confront the issue they've been skirting from the very beginning. Will they follow their chairperson and now their Senate colleagues in becoming the voice of the opposition in the House of Representatives? If we go, Representative Chodoro Bagilat is in the studio with us to discuss. Uh, Congressman Bagilat, welcome to the big story. Thank you. Thank you, Robbie. In a way, you're in the, in, um, I wouldn't say perfect, but you are in the position to speak uh, to, to both sides of the dynamics, whatever is going on here. On the one hand, you are a member of the Liberal Party. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, to your credit, every time you're mentioned, you are mentioned in the context of being uh, one of the more independent, if not an independent uh, member of the minority bloc in the House of, Rep of Representatives. Give us a, a quick briefer, where exactly is the Liberal Party right now? In terms of, I mean, they're in the minority bloc at the House of Representatives, yes. By consensus, the decision was to stay with the majority. That was the decision last year. Mm -hmm. uh, but with what, uh, with the recent developments in the Senate and with the impending um, death penalty vote mm -hmm. tomorrow, and given that the party has come out in the position that we are opposing the death penalty, then that, that uh, situation could change in the coming days. Mm -hmm. uh, I might be self-serving when I say I want my colleagues to join us in the minority. Uh, but because we in the Liberal Party uh, were fond of processing things, uh, and the uh, recent uh, caucus that was held uh, last week after the Senate reorganization was we will focus first on the death penalty vote, and then after that we have to confront the issue. Because it's really untenable. Um, it's been untenable for a number yeah. of months already. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the, uh, the president um, kicked out Lenny, Vice President Lenny mm -hmm. Robredo from the, from the cabinet. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the goings on and a lot of the attacks on, uh, on uh, oppositionists. Uh, Senator Leila de Lima, uh, for that matter, uh, the Liberal Party would denounce certain actions as political persecution. And yet through it all, through all of these things, through, in fact, explicitly saying that Lenny Robredo should lead the opposition, mm -hmm. the ironic thing is that the Liberal Party has always uh, stayed with the majority. What is so difficult with just making that statement? I think, um, well, it's, it, it could be a frustration and it could be a weakness, but uh, the, the party protocol is, when it comes to major decisions, we need to really have a dialogue among our members. Mm -hmm. And I have to uh, honestly say that majority or many, many of our members would rather that they stay in the majority, mm. Mm. at least in the House of Representatives, mm. no? because they feel that they, they're able to fight for their legislation, for mm. their pet bills, as well as for the needs of their constituents. Mm. No? But as I've said, because of national issues and the situation really pushing uh, or uh, people asking that we should have a viable political opposition, mm. I think the members have to confront this. Mm. But that's going to take a lot of sacrifice. Yes, exactly. I mean, really, one of really. the main criticisms yes. precisely is yeah. the Liberal Party cannot have its cake and yes. eat it too. You cannot stay in the majority at the same time, uh, uh, be free to express your principles on these big overriding values-based mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. debates. Mm -hmm. Life, mm -hmm. democracy, yeah. human mm -hmm. rights. EJ case, mm -hmm. when will things finally come to a head and will the, when will the Liberal Party finally wake up out of this love for process-oriented uh, <laughs> party politics? For democratic values. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to happen sooner than later. Uh, if the vote is going to be held tomorrow, mm -hmm. and quite a number of uh, Liberals who are also occupying key positions in the House will vote against the death mm -hmm. penalty, mm -hmm. Then uh, we we now await what the house leadership's reaction mm -hmm. would be if they will really uh, push through or remain through with the threat. Mm -hmm. you know? Although some of us are saying that you know, we don't have to wait for that. Exactly. Why uh, wait yeah. for the house leadership? Liberal senators were kicked out of the majority. Why wait for that same process in the house? I, I agree with the perception of some of the members that if we do join 
or if we become the political party of procedure, we have to be a strong political party. And I think uh, part of the process is really determining how many mm. of the members will mm. uh, get out of the coalition, mm. uh, how many are ready to get yes. out of the coalition and join us in the political opposition. Yeah. Is it naive for, for people to say that, you know, strength should not just be determined by how many members you can hang on to? but more fundamentally should be determined by how many members are willing to stick by the party line regardless of how many members you lose. Yeah, uh, that to me is very important. No? Uh, also the quality of opposition. You'd like to get your big guns uh, joining the opposition. Uh, and, and right now, while we have a, a partial list of those who are sticking to the party position, against the death penalty and who may be willing to join us in the political party position. We also would like to talk to the other members. No? Uh, uh, but that's going to take some time. And, and, and to me, uh, as, as I've said, it might be self-serving on my part to say that, oh, we want to, you guys to join us. Uh, but I, okay, I respect the decision that we will finish with the death penalty vote. But we need to confront this issue uh, as soon as possible. Okay, Congressman Bagirat, unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Thank you for joining us in the big story.